Are you looking for the best Android phones? In this video we will look at some of the 9 best Android phones on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Google Pixel 7a. The Pixel 7a 8 tenths Wired recommends comes very close to being the perfect phone for everybody. It looks gorgeous especially in the flashy coral color. It has a powerful processor Tensor G2 to run demanding games and zip through dozens of apps with ease. New in this model is an upgraded 64-megapixel camera and a 13-megapixel ultrawide that take better photos than most other phones its price and some pricier ones too. The 6.1-inch OLED screen is a nice size that's not too large and not too small, and it gets decently bright. Don't forget the smooth 90Hz screen too. Then there's wireless charging and the IP67 water resistance rating. Did I mention it costs less than $500? It will even last a while, thanks to the 5 years of security updates and 3 Android OS upgrades. It does have some concessions. It lacks a headphone jack and a microSD card slot, so if those are important to you, look elsewhere. The battery life is just okay, on average it can last a day, but you'll need a power bank if you're a power user. And the fingerprint sensor isn't my favorite. But even with these flaws, it's easily the best bang for your buck. Number 2. Samsung Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, and S24 Ultra Samsung's smartphones are the creme de la creme of the Android world, with top specs, refined hardware, and excellent software support. Seriously, the Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, and S24 Ultra 8 tenths Wired recommends will all receive 7 years of software updates, you can hold onto your phone for longer. They're powered by the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset for smooth and powerful performance. The AMOLED screens are sharp and extremely bright, with 120Hz screen refresh rates, and the batteries in all three should last you more than a day with average use. I break down the differences between all three models in this story, but suffice it to say that if you prioritize battery life, you should stick with the S24 Plus or S24 Ultra. The S24 is the smallest and best for anyone who prefers a tiny phone. The Ultra has the S Pen embedded inside, so it's a must-have for stylus stands. The triple camera systems on the S24 and S24 Plus are reliable and versatile, and the selfie camera remains one of the sharpest. The S24 Ultra has an extra fourth camera, a 5x optical zoom that replaced the old 10x optical zoom. I miss it, but 5x is still a nice option to have. These phones also capture some of the smoothest and most detailed videos in the world of Android, so if you film a lot on your phone, the S24 series is right for you. There is also now a bevy of smart AI features, some of which are genuinely useful, though they're still not quite as smart as Pixel phones. Once you have your Samsung in hand, read my recommendations on what settings to change to get the most out of it. And I have case and accessory recommendations here too. Number 3. Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro Google's flagship Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro 7 tenths Wired recommends are more polished than ever, and they will be supported for a whopping 7 years of software updates like Samsung's Galaxy S24 series. The camera system on these two phones is, as always, excellent, the ultra-wide on the Pixel 8 Pro is one of the best in the business. There's now Secure Face Unlock, which means you can use your mug as biometric authentication to get into banking apps, but it's not effective in low light, so the fingerprint sensor is still present as a secondary option. The reason to buy Pixel phones is the smart software features, like Call Screen, which thwarts robocalls and now even lets you respond to people without having to answer the phone. The Pixel 8 series focuses on smart image editing software. With tools like Magic Editor, Audio Magic Eraser, and Best Take, you get a powerful suite of features to easily change up your photos and videos, whether that's by erasing unwanted objects in the background, removing annoying sounds in your videos, or just switching someone's face in a group photo to one where they're not blinking. It's nuts, kind of disconcerting but also fun, and it can be genuinely helpful. I just wish the battery life on these phones could stretch closer to two days. Be sure to check out our Best Pixel Phones guide where we've got case and accessory recommendations. Number 4. OnePlus 12R OnePlus seems to be reconnecting with its roots this year, offering killer specs at surprisingly low prices. The OnePlus 12R isn't its flagship phone, that would be the OnePlus 12, but this handset has 2023's top-end Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, offering excellent performance for just $500. If you're a heavy mobile gamer on a modest budget, buy this phone. 
The 6.78-inch AMOLED has a variable 120Hz screen refresh rate and gets plenty bright too. The software feels slick, the primary camera does a decent job of keeping up with the Pixel 7a, and the 5500mAh battery will last roughly two days with average use. You can recharge it very quickly too with the included charger, 100% in about 30 minutes. So why isn't the OnePlus 12 our top overall pick? Sadly, it only has an IP64 water resistance rating, meaning it'll be fine in the rain, but not so much if you drop it in a pool. Its secondary cameras, the ultrawide and macro, are a bit lackluster. And it doesn't have wireless charging, a convenience available on the Pixel 7a. OnePlus is also promising only three Android OS upgrades and four years of security updates, which isn't as good as its Pixel competitor. Still, if those limitations don't bug you, and they might not, this is an excellent mid-range smartphone. Number 5. Asus Zenfone 10. Want the smallest Android phone without compromises to performance or features? Get the Asus Zenfone 10 7 tenths Wired Recommends. Its 5.9-inch AMOLED screen is compact, sharp, and buttery smooth thanks to the 120Hz screen refresh rate. It's powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip, which is the flagship processor of 2023, and it will handle anything you throw at it with ease. Despite its small size, the Zenfone 10 delivers more than a day of battery life, and you also get perks like wireless charging, a headphone jack, and an IP68 water resistance rating. Oh, and a charging brick comes in the box. How thoughtful. Asus is only promising two Android OS updates, but the Zenfone 10 will get four years of security updates, which is better than ever before. The cameras are the weak point, they're fine, just not the best you can find for the money, and I wish the screen got brighter. It's tough to see on super bright days. This phone also doesn't work on Verizon's network. Number 6. Motorola Razr Plus and Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. Folding flip phones are the solution for folks who hate big screen devices and want tiny things that can fit in the smallest pockets. Here are two standouts. Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip 5 7 tenths Wired Recommends delivers a big screen phone that feels more like a stack of post-its in your pocket when it's all folded up. How can you hate that? The new 3.4-inch cover screen lets you do more than before, like scroll through widgets, and you can browse a few apps too. The cameras are better than what's on the Motorola Razr Plus, see below, and it has an overall better build quality, but the battery life isn't great. Motorola's Razr Plus 7 tenths Wired Recommends has, in my opinion, an even more useful and larger front screen than the Galaxy Z, meaning you can use almost any app, read notifications clearly, and check other widgets like the weather, news, and your calendar, all without having to open the phone. The cameras are sadly lackluster, and battery life is equally as middling as the Flip 5. It's also not as water-repellent. If you want to save some cash, Motorola's cheaper Razr, 2023, regularly dips as low as $500, which is one of the lowest prices you'll find on a folding phone. It still functions great, with smooth performance and day-long battery life. However, the cover screen is barely useful and the cameras are SOSO. Number 7. OnePlus 12. If you want a powerful Android phone with all the top specs, then I dare say you will be satisfied with the OnePlus 12 8 tenths Wired Recommends. OnePlus worked closely with Qualcomm to synergize the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset inside with the software, crafting an incredibly polished experience that's buttery smooth and fast. Games like Genshin Impact ran slightly smoother than on the Galaxy S24 series, and the OnePlus didn't get as hot, either. I was able to eke out two days of average use from the 5400mAh battery, and as usual, you can recharge the phone very quickly, the charger is included in the box. OnePlus has brought wireless charging support back, and you can also recharge it fast if you use the company's proprietary wireless charger, a separate purchase. The triple camera system isn't the best you'll find in a phone, but it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with its peers in some areas, you just have to be okay with the massive camera bump on the back. I like the snazzy marble design. What sets it back is the curved glass display, which is dated and just not as nice to use as a flat display. It's also only IP65 water resistant, and while it'll get 4 Android OS upgrades and 5 years of security updates, that's not as good as the 7 years of support from Samsung and Google. Number 8. Nothing Phone 2 Nothing's Phone 2 is its first phone in the US market, 7 tenths, Wired recommends, and it's an excellent follow-up to the Phone 1. 
The price has jumped, but you now get a flagship grade Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor for great performance, a nice 120Hz AMOLED screen, and perks like wireless charging and NFC for making contactless payments. But where it shines is, well, literally the back of the phone. The LED Eglyph lights can flash when you get notifications or calls, and now can be set to light up only for app alerts you designate as important. No need to stare at the screen for a spam email anymore. Plus you can use the lights as countdown timers or even the status of your Uber driver. Nothing is all about style, and this is reflected not just in the phone's hardware design but also in the slick Nothing OS interface. If you've been feeling like every phone looks and acts the same, the phone, too, will be a breath of fresh air. Its flaws might give you pause, though its cameras are solid but not as good as the cheaper Pixel 7a, there's no Verizon support, and it's only IP54 rated, so it's not protected from a dip in the pool. At least it will get 3 years of Android OS upgrades and 4 years of security updates. Number 9. Google Pixel Fold The Pixel Fold 8 tenths, Wired recommends, is Google's first folding smartphone. On the outside, you have a wide 5.8-inch screen you'll primarily use, and it actually feels like using a normal phone screen with zero compromises. When you have both hands free, open it up and you're able to take advantage of a 7.6-inch screen, a larger canvas that makes some apps nicer to use, like Gmail and its two-pane view, but it also allows for easy split-screen mode so you can multitask. This comes in handy more times than you'd expect. Top that off with a great camera system, bright displays, good battery life, and smart software and you have a winning recipe. Unfortunately, this comes at an insanely high cost, and you probably shouldn't spend $1,799 on a smartphone. There's also cause for concern about durability with these folding devices. Still, I loved using this first-gen device, it's a great showcase of where phones are heading next. Read our best folding phones guide for more options.